This is a story of two families, one of them happy, one of them sad, one of them clean, the other careless, one of them healthy, the other sick. Suppose we call them the clean family and the careless family. Now, how does it happen that the careless family is sick while the clean family is not? Well, let's see how the folks in the clean family live. They live in a clean little house that looks like this. Let's go inside. It's meal time. Here's the mother cooking for the family. Notice that she cooks on a simple stove of brick. And for good reason, she wants the food to be kept clean and see how clean her dishes are kept and how clean the food is, protected from flies. And look outside here. This is how the clean family keeps the pigs and chickens confined in a simple corral of stakes and thongs. This keeps the yard clean and also keeps the pigs and chickens from wandering into the house. And this means a clean house. Here's the father working in the cornfield with his son. This is indeed a happy family because it's a clean family. But let's compare this to the way the careless family lives. Here is their house. And here are some of their chickens. And here's their pig left loose in the yard. But let's go inside and meet the family. Hey, you, get out of there. You don't have any business in the house. Here is the mother cooking the family meal. She cooks on the floor as has always been her custom. But this has disadvantages. Uh-oh, here's a chicken loose. And there's that nosy pig again. Cooking on the floor exposes the food to dirt and dust and to the sicknesses that might be in dirt. The father is not able to work because he's sick. Little Johnny has stomach cramps, and he sits in the corner most of the time. Why should there be so much sickness in this home? Well, let's go back to the day when Johnny first became ill with the cramps. Poor Johnny, he was in great distress. And to make matters worse, there was no latrine, but there was a cornfield. That's where everyone went. It was the custom. But this was a very bad custom. Though Johnny didn't know it, he was soon to bring more sickness into his family. Why? Well, when a person has a sickness of the stomach, that which leaves his body also contains the sickness. And the sickness will live in the dirt where he's left it for many days. One morning, a few days later, the father went into the field to hoe his corn. Yes, the same field where Johnny had often come with his stomach cramps. The sickness was still living in the dirt where Johnny left it. Johnny's father found it hard work hoeing the long rows in the hot sun, and so he sat down for a few minutes to rest. Idly, he sifted the cool dirt through his fingers the way a true farmer will. That dirt had in it an evil sickness, the sickness left there in the field by Johnny. And even though he dusted the soil off his hands, the invisible sickness stayed. And so he carried it with him when he went home to dinner. And since he never washed his hands before eating, the sickness from the field was still on them. It got on the food he was eating. And the sickness went with the food into his stomach. 
Soon, he too became sick, worse even than Johnny. All this misery simply because they didn't know. How could Johnny know he should use a latrine? His family had no latrine. It was not their custom. What a careless family. But let's see what the clean family did about this same problem. The father put up a simple latrine. Here's how he built it. First, he dug a deep hole. Near at hand were some rough-hewn boards, some stakes cut from trees, and some fat straw. Let's see how he used these simple materials. When the hole was deep enough, he laid the boards across it, leaving an opening in the center. Then he fashioned a covering for this opening to keep the flies out. Flies, too, can carry sickness if they walk in filth and then enter our homes. Then he placed the stakes at the four corners of the latrine. Now he was ready for the thatch, so he... Wait a minute. Uh, we seem to have a customer already. It's little Tommy. Excuse us, young man. Suppose we give you some privacy. There, that's more like it. That's what the thatch was for in the first place. Little Tommy has been taught to use this latrine instead of going into the field. The inside of the latrine is always kept neat and clean. And in this way, the sickness of the field is kept from spreading. The careless household is indeed a place of unhappiness. Because he never washes himself, Johnny is uncomfortable. He's always scratching. Tommy, on the other hand, gets a bath often. In fact, everyone in this careful family bathes often. To keep themselves clean, they wear clean clothes. Clothes washed with plenty of good soap. Clothes dried in the sunshine, in clean places, never in the dirt. The mother washes her hands to make them clean before she handles the food. She knows that sickness on food brings sickness to those who eat that food. The father and son also know about the sickness that may be in dirt, and so they wash their hands before eating. The clean family keep their dishes clean. They keep their food clean. They sweep their house to keep it clean. They keep their yard clean, and they bury all refuse that might attract flies or rats that bring sickness. They have a good latrine, and they keep it clean, and they keep their bodies clean. These are the reasons why they're strong and healthy. This is why they're happy. Always remember, cleanliness brings health and happiness.